I came up with that really stupid idea to cut my hair in the middle of the night. I don't know if this is smart, but we will see. The problem is that it's well, gonna be really cold next week, so I'm gonna have to wear uh, something to cover my hair the whole time. So it will probably just be crushed down and not like this. Good morning! It's the next morning. This is how my hair is looking right now. And yeah, in 30 minutes I will start to walk to uni and then we go to Stonehenge. Rapa -ta -pa -ta. Stonehenge. Woo -woo. And bath. <sighs> I'm obviously tired because the streets are so empty that it feels like it is Sunday and not such a day. Recording, yay! Hello, hello. Hey Natalia! We're on the way! We made it to the bus early in the morning. <laughs> what is that? It's like really good. My vlog camera. <laughs> We're going to Bath now! Yeah. Woo! Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay! Say hi! Hey <laughs> All the exchange students are on the bus, not all of them. Let's take a bath! Yeah. It's a really a small lot of them. bus. A lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I've expected a bit. And you, uh, what is going on here? Cell phone. Cell phone. Hello, Paul. Hi. What's your name? Yeah, just this guy. Just pretend. Just do it on your, yeah, just pretend it for the vlog. Oh. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that. You said to me, I won't do that. So actually, there is Stonehenge. Just on the other side, there's a street and it's quite annoying. I thought it would be really quiet here. It's kind of interesting. Photo shooting. So I'm back, there's the Stonehenge Memorial and there's the street. Why do you build a street so close to a monument like this? It's just stupid. I'm not listening to it at all. Are you I'm calling? Yeah, I'm calling friends in Germany <laughs> <laughs> with my new What's fancy number? cell phone. We're about to explore the world famous Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a unique prehistoric temple aligned with the movements of the sun. Built in stages between 3000 and 2200 BC, it's the only stone circle in the world to have lintels. The horizon... Thank you. Thank you.
not recommend this place for small children because like you can't touch any of these stones. Like where's there? Shouldn't be allowed to touch the stone, shouldn't it? You can't touch this. Can see it's on your phone. <laughs> it's the speaker thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we are in the tourist shop right now. I want to show them like the funny sheep. This one. Oh, that looks oh, good too. It's a sheep. Yeah. Doesn't know what it has to do with Stonehenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember with those sheep? Huh? You remember with those sheep? Like, yeah. Like where we're moving. Probably that's why. So business is business. This is a basic monopoly with, with sandwich. I don't like it. By now, I don't the like monopoly it. of Stonehenge. I don't like it. First monopoly. Oh. So we are on the way to bath right now. Some of the guys here are a bit sleepy. See you there. Go and see it, the Roman Vast, it's about £16. If you do nothing else in your free time, go and see it. Okay, sorry? You can go in at the end, we walk. Well, So we are at the uh, coffee shop they're called Boston uh, no, yeah, Tea Boston Party. Tea party. So Boston Tea Party. This is what I got to eat. And this is chocolate tea. So that is like, there uh, is actually chocolate in it with um, black tea together. So I'm excited to try something new. It's gonna be awesome. It looks really nice. So you make your decision. So I really enjoyed the carrot cake because it's not too sweet and the chocolate uh, tea is also fine but it could be a little bit a stronger taste not of chocolate but of black tea so somebody's just camping in the park we just met an interesting guy who were selling like cider and wine and we also find like German wine from my area which says really good and he said like that will be the next big thing here <laughs> we were talking about like how to build up a business with wine in Bath. It was quite interesting meeting a young entrepreneur. <laughs> I think it's like too small. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> that was work. <laughs> How is this supposed to work? I guess my ass is fat. <laughs> so they have, I guess it's like somebody's living on this boat. Like you have solar panels on the top of it. Yeah, and it's really long, but not really bright, not really wide. So it's for going on the canals here. So you can 
make this by hand. Like I'm used to it in Emden. We have this kind of stuff. But here you actually do it with your own power, with manpower and not with uh, electronical stuff with machines and a motor. That's quite lovely. So we are back at uh, Paul's place. How are you Paul? I'm good. It was a great day. I'm tired, I'm hungry, that's why I'm eating. What's your opinion about today? My opinion about today? So, the Zubu day trip was absolutely worth it. I wouldn't have to have... I wouldn't have to have like the... the audio guide, because it was expensive and it wasn't worth it. And we should have spent more time in Bath and like one hour less in Stonehenge because you do there some pictures, you learn something about the history and then you go after one hour because it was really cold. So probably you have missed things like that we are visiting the Roman baths or going to like look at more buildings or uh, there was also a lovely church. But I just told you like the story, like how we are, were walking around and not like the famous building, because you can obviously Google that. So it's just my perspective of the day. Uh, we will probably go there back to see also the Roman bath. There was a queue that was too long for us because we didn't have a lot of time. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, even if it was really long. Um, at Paul's place we had a long political discussion for three or four hours which was really interesting about the differences between politics and also the situation about uh, with refugees in the different European countries and was really lovely, really interesting. So I went back home at 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning uh, at a Saturday, a Sunday. Yeah, so I really enjoyed the day. It was like a short holiday trip. Yeah, I wish you a good night and see you soon.